Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. As you can see, I am in the car. <laughs> Oops, I think I need to hold on to it. Um, anyways, I'm in the car and I just got back from a doctor's appointment. I'm actually at home. I'm sitting in the driveway and just figured I'd, before I go back into the house, because I don't know that anybody is awake. For sure, Daryl's not awake, but um, his mom my mommy-in-law might be, but I don't know. I don't, I just didn't want to disturb anybody coming in and starting this video. Um, so yeah, I just went to see my doctor and, um, I got blood work and we talked about getting me one of those, um, glucose monitor or glu glu glucometer. Anyway, one of those things that reads your blood sugar. <laughs> <laughs> that will attach to my arm right here and I just I have an app and scan it and it will read my blood sugars all the time um, so that I can actually accurately read what foods affect me so I think that'll be really good hopefully my insurance will cover that um, we also discussed other things, but, um, getting me on a more long-term, uh, medication for my diabetes and stuff, and as well as the, um, shots that I have been taking, um, at mealtimes. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. It's a step in the right direction as far as getting me back on track to having a healthier life and whatnot. So yeah, that's where I'm at. And I just wanted to pop on here and just, I don't know, have a conversation. <laughs> um, I haven't filmed Monday or Tuesday. It is Wednesday. Uh, I have not filmed Monday or Tuesday. Uh, Monday, uh, Jared kind of not kind of. He needed us to watch the kids because he went to the dentist, uh, emergency wise, um, which they didn't really give him. They gave him amoxicillin because he's got an infection, and but they didn't pull the teeth or anything. He has to go to an oral surgeon to do that. And uh, yeah, so that was Monday, which is why I didn't do any filming. And then yesterday, I didn't do any filming because I ended up doing, um, working on my disability application. I got that done. I am anticipating it being denied because that's what I've been told is that you get denied like two or three times before they actually give you disability. I just need to, um, stop being a procrastinator. I am the world's greatest professional procrastinator and I need to just stop doing that because it is to the de 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 detriment of my well-being. So we need to stop doing that and uh, start taking better care of ourselves, you know? Um, so I've got that done. I, like I said, I'm anticipating it being denied, but I will be denied and then I will go through the process again and uh, now that I've gone back to the doctor since my last appointment was in October and reestablished and uh, whatnot and I'm going to make this a very regular thing because I do I need to make sure that my health is important because a lot of people wouldn't do very well without me here and I need to be healthy to be here. So that is what's been going on. I am currently wanting to work on Sammy's Christmas present because I really need to get it done. I really, really, really need to get it done. So I need to work on that. I'm going to do that when I go in the house. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get on here and give you a little update on what's going on with me and I will see you inside doing something. <laughs> okay, so Daryl now works overnight. So our big meal is 2.30, 3 o'clock. 
Um, right now I have a cup and a half of rice sitting in the pot covered, wait, you know, cooking for 20 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and start uh, browning my meat. We have an abundance of rice, so we're using it. And I have started just ground doing ground beef, adding seasoning, and then adding two packets of brown gravy, two cans of condensed um, cream of mushroom, and then a can of mixed vegetables, and that creates our dinner. And I have learned that a cup and a half of rice is good enough to, or more than enough, to feed us for dinner, give Daryl a lunch or dinner at work, and maybe a little bit more. So, right now what I'm doing is I'm going to be adding the seasoning, which I'm going to be adding minced garlic. Yes, it is dried. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Um, it is dried, and that's okay. That's what I have at the moment. I would prefer uh, not dried minced garlic. I'm going to be putting in perfect steak seasoning, and I don't measure. I just put in what I think is going to work and go from there. I am using Kinder's, garlic, Kinder's Rub Garlic and Herb with sea salt. And like I said, I just put in what I think is going to be a good amount. I like to add a little bit of chili powder. Not a lot because Daryl's mom doesn't like the heat, so I don't put in a lot. Um, I am putting in minced onion. Again, same thing as the dry. I don't put a lot of minced onion in but because I am going to be adding onion powder. Um, yeah, onion powder. And I'm going to go ahead and start browning the meat. Turn on the flame, set it to medium, and then we're just going to brown the meat until it's done. And while I do, while the meat is cooking, or after it's browned, I should say, I start making the two packets of brown gravy and then I add the soup and all of that to the meat mixture including the um, vegetable, uh, mixed vegetables and then I will let that cook while the rice is doing its thing and then put it all together and we've got a meal. So yeah, I am just browning my meat and I literally just pour things in and base it off of smell. If I feel like I need to add more seasoning, I will add more. But as of right now, it's smelling pretty good. I know it's not browned yet, but as, as soon as it does get browned, I will start adding the canned vegetables and working on the brown gravy and the soup. All right, so the meat is pretty much done and I'm gonna show you a quick little technique to, a little hack, I guess, that I've learned um, to get some of that oil out. I am simply going to dab it with a paper towel and that alleviates me from having to put it in a bowl or something else so that I can just throw it away. I am careful not to get my hand in it too bad. But once I get that out, I can just literally throw the paper towel away and there you go. You've got your oil out. As you can see, I have added the mushroom soup and the canned mixed vegetables. I did not drain the mixed vegetables. I just poured the can in because it does help to thin out the condensed mushroom soup a little bit. My brown gravy is sitting over here waiting to be put in it just needs to thicken up a little and then we will get stuff going all right so in the time that it took me to get the meat mixture ready it is now time to fluff up the rice i did add a tablespoon of butter and now i'm going to fluff it up turn off the heat and then let it set for 15 minutes and that will give the meat mixture full time to cook or heat up and then we will mix it all together 
and dinner will be ready. Oh, and I did bring up the um, meat mixture barely to boil, like it bubbled, not even a full pop. And then I reduced the heat to low, so now it's just simmering. I will be stirring it as I wait for the rice to do its thing. And then I will whisk the um, brown gravy, add it to the meat mixture, and then I will put everything together with the rice. And now everything has been mixed together. As you can see, this is the pot that we're using, and this is how much it has in there. And we've got it all mixed and it's ready to go and everything took about 35 minutes. All right, this is what is left over. So now I have enough for dinner and Daryl's lunch tomorrow. And I don't have to cook. Good stuff. Well, I'm back in the car again. Apparently this is a car vlog. Um, so I got my medication and the sensor thing is unfortunately just way too expensive so I'm not going to be able to do that. It just reads my blood sugar levels so I'm not too worried about that. I mean I still am going to get one of um, the normal, well not normal, but one of the ones where you prick your finger. Anyways, because the one, it, it was going to be like $150 every month just for the sensors. So I just, I can't do that. But um, I did get medication to help with um, my neuropathy pain because I get jolts of shocking pain every once in a while. And so I got that. <laughs> and, and go figure, side effects may make you drowsy, dizziness, <laughs> And that's just what I, who already has vertigo and gets d dizzy very easily, needs. So, um, I went into the house. I did do some stuff. I, um, you'll, you're going to see dinner in just a moment. Um, and I did do some work on Sammy's beanie, but then I just kind of left it at that. Uh, I didn't really record anything. And then yesterday... When I started taking the medication, it, it did. It, it wiped me kind of out. So I'm just trying to get acclimated to it. I don't know. Anyways, um, oh, and enjoy some uh, storm footage from last night. I know you can't see anything, but maybe you hear. I don't know. I haven't actually watched the footage yet. But anyways, I'm gonna, uh, I, we're at the hospital and my, uh, mommy-in-law is getting blood work done. So I just parked the car. I just dropped her off and then I parked the car and now I'm gonna go in. So yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Maybe actually doing something other than, I don't know, being in the car. <laughs>
guys. I thought we would do something a little different, and I wouldn't say this is a cover because I'm literally singing with Robert Smith, but we're going to do a song, and yeah, it's one of my favorite songs by The Cure, and it's called Love Song, and we are going to be getting some more equipment to help get us uh, better quality, so look forward to that. And yeah, I'm dedicating this to you. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Just count it down again. So it's going to be three, two, one, push. Okay. Right? Yes. Three, two, one, push. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Love song. Take 69. <laughs> three, two, one. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did hit that like button and leave us a comment if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to all and I hope you've had a great day hope you've had a great week and are having a great weekend and with that remember gravity works guys
you got out, you'll get it.